Of all the inhabitants of the undergrowth that have exploited silk, none have done so with more variety and skill than the spiders, and this is almost certainly the first way in which they used it. Here on this bank in the Malaysian rainforest, there are strands of silk radiating from this little patch in the middle. Watch what happens if I touch one of them. Can't help jumping. That was a trapdoor spider, but it was so swift. You hardly saw it. Let's see if I can get it to do it again. The spider, when hungry, sits close behind the trapdoor. The strands outside are all connected to a silken collar that surrounds the mouth of the hole. Each of her feet is in contact with it. The slightest twitch is enough to tell her that something's moving around outside. A single twitch will produce no reaction. That could be caused by a falling leaf or a drop of water. But a repeated vibration, especially if it moves from one strand to another, could mean prey. Prey like this beetle. Now it will kill it. This is the most ancient of living spiders. The fact that it has uniquely segmented plates on its back shows that it's more closely related than any other to those pioneer hunters, the scorpions. And like them, it has a powerful venom. Once bitten, its victim has little chance. <laughs> 